So for HNO3, we want to know whether it's polar or not. A good way to do that is to start by looking at the Lewis structure. When you look at the Lewis structure here, you can see it's not symmetrical. We have that hydrogen on this side here, and then we have the oxygens on the other side. It's not a symmetrical molecule, and that means it's probably going to be a polar molecule. So here we have HNO3. The blue is the nitrogen, red oxygen, and the white, that's the hydrogen. So we take a look at this, we see it's not symmetrical, but let's take a look at the surface of the molecule, the electrostatic potential, to see what the polarity is for this molecule. So let's start by adding a molecular surface here to show where the positive and the negatives are. So we can see from this that the hydrogen has a more positive electrostatic potential here, and then the oxygens are more negative. So when we look at this, we have a positive and a negative side. Those are poles. That means that HNO3 is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.